I'm Liam. Um, this is my first proper video to go on YouTube, so bear with me if it's not too brilliant. I'm just going to show you my home chili setup. I'm in one of my walking greenhouses at the moment, not a very big one, but uh, here's one of the first plants I grew from a seedling. This is a cayenne chili plant. I've actually got my, my very first flower coming off this one at the moment, which has been a long time coming, but I kind of went through the process of uh, topping and, and fimming some of these, so I've been playing the waiting game to get the flowers. I've got another cayenne chili pepper here, and another one here. They're all at a similar sort of stage, really. Um, I could do a repot on them onto bigger pots at some point, but that's the way of the world. Uh, down here, these are also, I'll just double check, yeah, th these are three K and chili plants as well, but they're kind of the runt of the bunch. This one I'm pretty sure is is dying. It's, uh, although saying that, it has got some tiny little flower buds starting to appear. So, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's on the rebound. Over on the shelf, in the same similar size pots I've got the cayennes in, I've got three jalapeno plants. These took quite a while to start growing properly. Um, they've sort of had a spurt in the last few weeks, which is quite good, but I'm only getting a, a couple of little flower buds appearing on each one at the moment. They're a bit of a slow goer. These three down here uh, are actually plants that I purchased. I did buy them when they were very small. They are in sort of containers the size of Coke cans. This one down here is a super romital, whatever that is. That's been on a major growth spurt since I bought it. I only, only bought it about three weeks ago and it's quite big already. Uh, this one here is a Fuego. Again, I bought it a similar size to the romital. And uh, if I pan out a little bit there, that's also, if I put my hand there, that's, that's coming on quite nicely as well. And at the back is a plant that I, I bought. I bought it and it already had chilli peppers on it. It's a Bulgarian hot carrot plant. Um, that hasn't really grown much since I got it because it's got chilies on it I'm assuming I've got no new flowers or anything like that coming through but yeah they've started ripening off now and I've had a couple off it and they're surprisingly hot I'll just move you over to my other greenhouse this is where all the action happens I'll start you off at the top here I think these are in 10 litre tubs this is a scotch bonnet which I grew from seedling. I did, uh, if you can see under there, I did top it at some point um, and it's bushed out a little bit but it hasn't grown an awful lot. This in a 12 litre tub is a chocolate habanero that I purchased again in a, in a container the size of a coke can really but this one's got a nice thick stem on it, nice strong plant, it's a beautiful looking plant, nice crunchy looking leaves. This one underneath it is another chocolate habanero which I bought a week later. This one's a little bit more stunted in growth. I don't know if it's maybe because I've got it underneath that one so it's not getting as much light. Uh, another six cayenne chilli peppers growing from seed. Uh, at the back there, they, they were getting chewed on in the, in the other greenhouse. I had a major slug problem in the other greenhouse so I've had to move them across here. Um, they're doing okay now, I believe. Up here I've got a Scotch Bonnet Big Sun with massive leaves, the size of that, the leaves just as big as my hand. Um, that's a really thick stemmed plant as well by the looks of it. I'm told the Big Suns grow quite big as chilli peppers but uh, we shall see. This one over here is a, is a habanero, or just a regular habanero that I grew from a seedling. This is my tallest one because I haven't topped this one. I've got a couple of others that I did uh, I think I tried lollipop in one and I topped another. I'll show you those in a moment, but that's that's quite a tall plant for where it is in the growing season anyway, which is quite good. These ones down here, uh, this one at the back is a cayenne pepper plant, which has started bushing out a bit more since I put it in the larger pot. It was in those size pots before, which is why it wasn't doing very well. Uh, that's all right. This one here, I'm trying to get a better angle on it. You see how long the stem is. I've topped this one because it's a Scotch bonnet and it was just growing up and up and up, and there wasn't a lot I could do about it, so I've topped it in the hope that it bushes out a bit more. This one, cayenne chili pepper, same deal as the other ones. Some more cayenne chili peppers, all in the smaller pots that need repotting, but I'm giving them away. Another cayenne chili plant here. These two at the 
Hi, sorry about that. I'm running out of space on my SD card, so I'll be quick. Just to show you the last two plants, this is the first uh, other habanero that I grew from seedling. I, I lollipopped it, so I cut some of the lower stems off, and it's uh, it's pushing out quite nicely. Uh, this one over here, I topped, and this is a beautiful looking plant now. It's it's really bushy, it's still quite low, it's got a nice thick stem on it. So I'm hoping that produces me some good chilli peppers this season. Um, I've got some small... Uh, Carolina Reapers and some various super hots growing inside but they're really not very big so I'll give you an update in a, in a couple of weeks. Thanks. Bye.